63 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up uh, 150 for 33 hours. Before taxi, you can check all your different checklists by going into the Lead Pursuit, Battlefields, Documents folder. And you will see that before taxiing, you have an after engine start where you can check your D Link, GPS, MFDs, and all that. Then you have an engine check when you test your fuel flow. To 500 to 1500 RPM, make sure that the RPM reads 60 to 70, and all the different gauges. And then you have a fuel check to check the quantity of fuel that you're going to use in your mission. You can test and follow that checklist if you want to. It's just a real life thing. Now before taxiing we have a checklist, if you want to follow it, if you don't, I'm going to tell you real quick how do you do it. Here we are inside the F-16, it's all start up and we are ready to taxi. So let me show you how you do that. The first thing you want to do is check your call sign, in this case is class 1-2. Make sure you remember there for radio communications is on your left knee. And then you go down and you check your takeoff by clicking on waypoints. This tab will tell you your takeoff time and what you're supposed to do in this mission. Now you go back up and make sure that you are set in your master navigation mode which is the default which is that screen on your HUD and you're gonna go and check your master arm switch make sure that it's set to safe or off it's off so that's that now you're gonna go to your radar and make sure that it's set back to off so you're gonna go all the way to the corner with your mouse and set it to off now go back up and you're gonna check your ECM or jammer so you're gonna go down here and it should be right there that ECM that should be a green light if it was on but it's not so that is good now your landing gear just keep going down here and make sure that lever is down and the three green lights meaning that it's safe and locked now your Landing lights are green, that's good. Your drift co switch, which is up here, so you're gonna go and it's right there. Make sure they set to normal. And your caution lights, just go down here and make sure there is no lights let on. Now you go to your left and make sure that seat is arm, ejection seat, it's arm and your flight controls so you're gonna go always go outside and just hit zero and make sure that you test it they're freely moving the router now you go back in and request taxi. That will be with T. This menu will come up and number five. Glass one two ready for departure. And glass one two taxi runway two zero right. Glass one two honey May tower taxi in sequence. You are number two for departure.
let me pause it. Okay, it's very important that you listen what they're telling you. Sometimes it could be hold. Sometimes it should be taxi and hold short. And they told you that you're taxi in sequence because I'm not the lead of the mission. Now you're gonna check your nav. So you're gonna go to your right panel and make sure that you test it before you taxi. So you're gonna send it back to align normal and go back to your pod and make sure it's flashing. That means it's aligned. Now go back there and set it to nav. go back up and it should not be flashing which is right there perfect and your trim right there so I'm just gonna set it up to uh, 10 degrees or take off or 50. okay now you're ready to taxi out so you're gonna engage your nose wheel by pressing shift and slash and that green light should come on here and NWS for nose wheel you're gonna double check your lights now go and check your speed brake which is right here it's that little Square. So you'll engage it with B. Make sure it's on. Go outside. And it's open. Now you're gonna close it with B again. Go inside and check that they went back the way it was. Now go back in here and you are ready to start moving. So here we go. I'm gonna switch to the 3D view so you can see it better. And uh, let's start moving. I'm just waiting for the lead to start moving. There he goes, I think. There he is. So we're gonna apply some power, release your parking brake. We're gonna start moving forward and just keep it below 3400. Start turning with your rudder and try to keep it in the middle of the line. not exceed 20 knots. Now that you're here, you can test your wheel brakes by pressing K. Make sure your aircraft stop. Now start running again. At this point, you're just ready to go. I'm just waiting for more instructions as soon as you get to the trash hole or to the beginning of the runway. If you want to look outside and see how you're doing. And try to keep yourself in the middle of that line. 